where I'm not with you right now. Uh, I trust that you know that I would much rather be with you than where I am right now. Um, Y'all pray that uh, the uh, stuff down at the courthouse feels all right this morning, and I'll come back and tell you a story of victories, I hope. So, uh, but anyway, a couple of things to cover really quick with you. Uh, Number one, I want to remind you guys about Nicaragua. Uh, Tentative dates, June 24th through July the 4th. Again, estimated cost somewhere around thirteen fifty. Um, if you are interested, uh, please put your name up here. Uh, number two, all right, tomorrow, let's make a contingency plan, okay? The contingency plan is this. If, for some reason, we are not at school tomorrow, we will have class on Skype. Um, and we're going to do all of our classes on Skype. If you don't have a Skype account, you need to get a Skype account. It's free. If, if you don't have uh, what you need to make that happen, see me. Okay, Let, my Skype name is Jason B. Terry, just like all of my social media stuff. Um, so find me there, and uh, we will do first period. If, if need be, we will do first period, excuse me, at 10. Uh, then we will do uh, second period. Uh, well, we'll have another class every 45 minutes. So um, 10 o'clock would be first period. Second period would be at 10.45. Third period at 11.30. Your assignments are going to be due as scheduled. So the assignment you're working on today, it's due tomorrow anyway before class time. Um, so Whatever you get together, you just need to make sure that I've got it in my inbox before uh, we meet if we are meeting on Skype. Uh, And then we will have our same discussion over Skype that we are anticipating having tomorrow in class. Um, All right, so uh, point number three. Uh, I want to remind you that on Friday, uh, March the 6th, we have our discussion over Jesus is section 6. You need to have the book finished by Friday. Um, Then the following Friday, basically the theme for that conversation, which will be the Friday right before spring break. What does this book mean to you? Um, What difference does this make? And then we're going to talk some about um, how we can digest that material uh, with a a wrap-up project of some sort. Uh, that we'll have due maybe a week or two after spring break. Uh, Like I said, finish the book. Be ready next Friday for wrap-up. Be ready this Friday for discussion over Section 6 and then like the conclusion there after that. Um, What you're going to do today, our Gospel Catalyst Project. Um, Let me, I'm going to write out exactly what it is that I'm looking for, okay? If... For some reason, at this point, you're still missing your notes. You you guys know this by now. bit.ly slash Terry MT Notes. Okay? You can find not only the Gospels, but notes over the entire New Testament. Okay? Um, You need to know, though. You need to know where that is. You need to download a copy of that. Save it for your own library because that's the kind of stuff that's going to come in handy for you in the future, whether you're at KCS or just studying just because you want to know what something means. So uh, make sure you have that. And then we've read through these notes over the Gospels. We've discussed them. You know what's going on. All right. What I need you to do, we're, what we're doing here is we're exercising our capability to be uh, become more informed by research that we do, and to allow ourselves to um, question what we have believed before, to help ourselves be open to understanding new ideas and to adjusting our beliefs based on what we learn. So here's what I need from you. For each of the four Gospels, okay, you're going to do this four times. Um, I want you to tell me, obviously, which gospel you're coming from, okay? Then you need to give me a specific passage within that gospel. Then you need to tell me your previous belief about that passage. And it 
may be a passage that previously you didn't really have an understanding. Um, but now you do. So I want to hear your current understanding. Then I want to know what the catalyst was that led to the change that got you from here to here. Okay. Um, I'm, and I'm asking you to provide something to me where this catalyst is not necessarily entirely, but is at least largely based in the notes that you have over the Gospels. Okay. So it might be, okay, Gospel of Mark, and the passage might be, and I'm completely making this up. I have no idea what I'm actually throwing up here, but uh, it might be Mark uh, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, okay? And I, you know, when I read that um, in the past, I used to think, uh, well, A, B, and C, but the thing is, now, I kind of look at it, and I, and I, you know, having learned what I have now, I see uh, Q, R, and S. And, you know, the thing is, um, the thing that got me from this to this was when we read um, in the notes over the book of Mark, I found out that Mark was written in such and so a way. And, um, you know, I found out that, that this certain thing was like really a big theme with Mark. And that kind of, that shaded how I understood uh, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. And so maybe, you know, it's not necessarily like a huge difference maybe between A, B, and C and Q, R, and S. Um, but I do have, I do believe I have a clearer understanding because of uh, what I got out of the notes that we studied. Uh, over the book of Mark, okay? So, now, what what kind of format do I want? I mean, these can be bullet points, okay? I'm not looking for a big formalized paper. Um, I'm just, I just want to get this information from you. It needs to be, of course, in PDF format. Um, and the uh, file name, the file name for this assignment is here. Gospel Catalyst, your class period number, and your last name, dot PDF. Okay, so uh, also when you give me this passage in your paper, it's real easy to cut and paste. So I just want you to cut and paste the full text of whatever passage you're covering. Okay, so that way it just it makes it easier for me to keep track with you rather than having to look at your stuff and go look it up and blah 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 blah. If you can just have it all right there for me, that's what I'm looking for. Um, let's see. Um, all right now. Um, yesterday, in some conversations I was having, it became apparent that some of you are really struggling with kind of putting the cart before the horse. And what I mean by that is you're looking in these Gospels and you're trying to find passages that you really like. You're trying to find a good verse. Um, and then, uh, having looked at that, then you're going to go and read these notes and see if your understanding of that passage changes. Now, is that a terrible plan? No. Could you learn something from that? Yeah, sure. I think that a much better way of going about this and really what I have in mind for this assignment is, um, you know, you, you look at the notes, you gather an understanding of what the notes have to say about the Gospel of Mark, for example, and then you go and you start reading through Mark, okay? And knowing what you know now about Mark, you're reading through, reading through, and then you get to a certain point, you're like, oh, well, that's a little bit different to me now. Man, I used to think that was, but now I know, you see what I'm saying? So don't just like jump in and pick a verse that you like and then try to make it work for the assignment. You're going to have to do a little bit of, I mean, the point of this is to get you to, I want you to read the notes over the Gospels. I want you to gather understanding about them, and then I want you to let those notes inform your understanding of what you read. And then I just want you to give me one example from each gospel that shows how you are allowing the information you gather to inform your beliefs. 
your beliefs about what these scriptures mean. Okay, so it's it is it's it's a bit of an exegetical um, assessment. It's a bit of an asegetical assessment, but without near as much involvement as some of the other things that we've done before. I know that a lot of you appreciate me putting this together this way, so I just ask that you will use your class time wisely and crank out a good product to show your appreciation for the way I put this together for you. Um, I will be back as soon as possible. Trust me, I'm not going to spend any more time at the courthouse than I have to. Um, if you have questions about this, uh, I want to ask you first and foremost to rely on one another in your class. Um, don't be afraid to ask other people, hey, so what are you doing about this? Or, hey, did you ha how did you handle this? Did you do this this way or did you do it that way? And all that kind of thing. Um, you can ask Miss Fox. I'm sure that she'll be more than happy to help you in any way that she can. And Miss Fox, I do very much appreciate you taking care of my kiddos while I'm gone this morning. Uh, thank you very much. Um, but, uh, you know, if you've got some questions that go unanswered, by all means, feel free to text me and say, hey, when you get back, I've got a question for you. Um, I, I will make sure I will text uh, and or maybe call Miss Fox when I'm on my way back uh, to let you guys know, you know, roughly when to expect me. Um, you know, I, I certainly expect uh, to be, you know, I'm really, I've got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping to be back before the end of third period, hopefully fourth period. Uh, we'll not even be seeing this video, um, and I'll just be here to do this myself. But uh, in the case that you have questions and I'm not here, text me. Let me know you have a question. I will not be able to answer you while I'm down there, but let me know that you need to talk to me. And then uh, if you can, come in and see me at lunch. If that doesn't work, then I'll at least know that I need to track you down or I need to text you back. And I will just remind you that my cell phone number is right up here on the wall just above the uh, whiteboard so you can get that there. Please feel free to use that. Um, and uh, like I said, just a reminder that this stuff is due uh, before class time tomorrow, whenever that happens to be. If, it, if we're here, then it's before class time here. Uh, we're just going to have a discussion here in the classroom saying, hey, you know, what did your, I mean, how did your stuff look? Um, what were the things that you came to understand differently? And just kind of a roundtable discussion about it, really relaxed and laid back. Um, I just want us to digest it together. Um, if, if we are snowed out, I just need it by the time that we get together online. Like I said, first period, 10 o'clock, second period, 1045, every 45 minutes on down the line. Um, if you have any questions about that, because we're out, feel free to text me. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Long enough, right? And um, I will see you soon. Y'all uh, have a great morning. Work hard. And uh, I'll talk to you later.